What's up guys? Um, Andrew here. I didn't plan on doing this video, but not too long ago, it was actually only only about three days ago, a company reached out to me and said, hey, do you want a free mini chainsaw to do a video of? And I said, well, of course, because it's free. Anyways, let's open it up. So this is the, um, this came from Saker. Saker. I looked it up. It's actually for sale on Amazon as well as a couple other less comforting sites. We'll see what it looks like. All right. Here we are. So here it just shows the order. I'll put the link in the description of roughly what this guy is on the Amazon. But uh, here, Mini Electric Chainsaw by Saker. Four inch portable cordless electric chainsaw. All right. One chainsaw and one battery. Okay, so first off, we have our charging cord in here, which I'm pretty happy with. It's UL listed. That's comforting. Um, yeah, I'll put 21 volts, 0.75 amps, so. Hmm. Anyways, nothing too exciting, but it's UL listed, which is, makes me happy. Um, a half full container of what I assume to be bar oil, but we'll see. A screwdriver. Must be a um, bar wrench. It's pretty standard battery. Weird though that they charge in here. But it slides in like this, you know, as opposed to some other brands that your charger slides over the same as your tool does. A little odd, but oh well. And there she is. The mini chainsaw. It says the chain speed is 780 RPMs. And we have a 240 millimeter guide plate length. Pretty neat. Do not cut wood that is more than four inches. Do not overpress the machine when cutting wood. When the machine is not used for a long time, please fully charge it and then store it. All right, so you got kind of a trigger guard here. There's a safety, you gotta press this, to pull the trigger. Um, this bar guard or whatever you wanna call it up here. Let's all she really comes with. Check out the directions here. Pretty straightforward. Um, oil, it looks like you just apply oil right onto the chain itself here. Oh boy, that is tight. Holy cats. That guy looks like it, huh? Looks like you don't even need to loosen the bar screw to adjust the tension. So, <clears throat> I guess that's all we got here. I'm going to charge it up, and then tomorrow, Ooh. tomorrow, I'm going to go out and cut some stuff with it. We have a brand new fully charged battery, 1.5 amp hour, 20 volts. Just took it off the charger. It's a brand new chain yet. I haven't used this thing at all. Once I got it, I unpackaged it. You guys saw that. I charged it. Now, I'm going to make some cuts on this. This is just a standard 8-foot um, non-treated pine 2x4. We're going to see how fast it cuts, how many cuts it can do on a full charge, etc. So, we'll get going.
that's it. Doesn't look like it took much of an edge off the chain. I understand. It's a pine 2x4, you know, but I, uh, you know, it shows that it's at least not a complete, completely cheap junk chain. Um, battery lasted longer than I had anticipated. I'm going to see, I'm going to time how long it takes to recharge here. See if it's, uh, if it calculates out with how the, what the charger states for its output. I'm going to re-oil the chain. And then, uh, I'm going to put this into a little bit of real life application. This was just kind of a test and it did better than I anticipated. I'll be honest with you. So that's, uh, that's the end of this one. I guess we'll move on to the next test. All right, guys. So there you go. Um, I didn't get to use this a ton yet. Cause like I said, it's unfortunately March in Wisconsin and, uh, you know, there's not a lot to really do right now. Um, sorry, I got something in my eye. I swear I've been cursed with a lifetime of eyelashes in my eyes by someone, an ex lover or something maybe. Anyways, <clears throat> so I probably ran um, four or five batteries through this. Uh, it's still holding up pretty good. Still cuts pretty good. Uh, you can see it's pretty well covered in pine sap right now. I'll have to clean her up and everything. But overall, I mean, I would say, yeah, this is a pretty handy little tool. Uh, you're not going to be doing any... Um, tree trimming businesses with it or logging businesses, but it's definitely something that I could foresee, you know, keeping around in the event that you, um, you know, for smaller stuff, for instance, what I was working on today, you, you saw those pine brushes. That was kind of just a test, but it worked pretty well for all that small little brush to get in there and cut and grab and cut and grab rather than trying to, you know, run a full size two hand saw, you know? And in addition to that, should you have PPE? Probably. Do you need the full uh, Kevlar chaps and, you know, face shield, uh, high-vis vest, whatever? No. Um, this is something, it'll absolutely cut you, but it's not going to get out of hand like a full-size saw would. So then, that brings me to my next point of, you know, uses for this is um, cleaning fence lines. That'll be something this summer that I'll probably throw it on a four-wheeler and it'll be handy to bring along if I'm going to go out for a ride or even just go for a walk. You know, something I could clip on my belt loop and have it with me and just go walk the fence line to cut off any smaller brush, you know, just when I'm out checking on animals or checking the fence or just going for an afternoon stroll. Um, the other thing, my mom, you know, someone like my mom, my girlfriend, they could both use it. Uh, it's something that it's not too unwieldy. Uh, they could easily keep it around the house for lighter brush cleanup, you know, maybe after a storm or something or clean up shrubs or something. You know, my mom's house, she doesn't, uh, she doesn't live in the woods, but she lives, you know, in a wooded area. There's a lot of trees around and brush and everything else. It's something she could absolutely use for small cleanup jobs as she's, you know, in the spring or after a storm or something like that. Uh, battery life, I'm pretty impressed with the battery life. You guys saw I made 70 cuts with it on a 2x4. That's pretty good for a 1.5 amp hour battery. Um, it takes two hours to charge. Like I said, I, I haven't seen, you know, any battery life loss over the last four or five times that I used it. So that's, that's good. Uh, chain sharpness is good. I made quite a few cuts. It's still cutting decent. One thing I do wish is that it had an automatic oiler. Uh, the reason behind that is it's difficult to keep it oiled, I guess, because all you do is put the oil on the chain right on it. And, uh, well, as you can imagine, you make about three cuts and all the oil's gone. Um, so there is that. Uh, this guard does get in the way of some things that could easily be remedied by taking it off though, but that's at your own risk. Um, it looks like there is some wear on the bar here, almost like the chain isn't uh, seating on the roller on the end and it's actually gouging out of the bar here, right on the end. 
So that's something that uh, could be improved upon, but again, you know, for 60 bucks and run it, you know, till she's junk and then you buy a new bar and a new chain and they're not that expensive. I'll throw that link in the description. It's not expensive to get a new bar and chain. Um, so they're wear items is what they are. You know, it's something that's going to wear out and they're going to wear together and you just pick up some new ones, but that is an issue that I observe. And I think, I don't know if it's a matter of the roller or if it's the fact that the, the diameter here of this curve, this periphery is too narrow for this size of chain. And that's why we're gouging here because the chain simply can't make a nice bend around it as opposed to, you know, taking it in angled steps, basically, if that makes sense. Uh, other than that, though, yeah, I, I'm pretty impressed with it. A little bit of hand fatigue, like I said, trying to hold your thumb over this and run it. And I have large hands. So for someone with smaller hands, you know, that would be, I could see that being a problem, but nothing that you couldn't overcome. And, you know, it's, this isn't something you're going to be running for 12 hours a day, but I definitely recommend it. I think that it was, uh, I think I could see it being a $60 purchase for a lot of, a lot of homeowners, um, whether you're in the town or out here, you know, doing, um, doing the home study farming thing. I, I could definitely just see, you know, this is something that it, it's kind of between your, your garden shears and your chain, your full size saw on it. It just kind of does it all. Big thing I used it on was uh, cleaning up in my barn where I got boards and everything hanging all over, you know, I can chop them down so I can drag them out and get them into a more manageable size to handle and everything. Um, Okay, guys, so then uh, in conclusion, I would definitely say go ahead, get out there, maybe pick one of these up and use it for, like I said, clearing fences or maybe a little bit of brush cleanup here and there, shrubs around the house, something that you can get right up by the house with. You don't have to worry about it getting out of hand and swinging and cutting into your siding or something. Or if you're doing fencing, you can get in there and cut really well with this and it's not too big and awkward to where you're trying to, you know, avoid hitting the fence or running into anything like that. It's I could definitely foresee this being kind of a little handy little tool that you could have hanging on the wall for all your little small jobs and small cleanup dot jobs. And, um, that's, that's pretty much that, that being said, anyways, thanks guys. Thanks Saker. I appreciate the gift. I, it'll definitely get its use here on the farm. Um, my, um, girlfriend was using it just the other day for cleaning brush up because she, uh, isn't comfortable using a full size saw. She never has. So this was something she could grab and go do a few little jobs around the farm here while I was at work. And she wasn't intimidated by it, wasn't afraid, and I wasn't concerned for her uh, safety if she's using this alone, you know. I don't like anyone anyone in my family using a saw when they're uh, when they're home alone, a full-size saw in the event that you cut your leg off or something. It kind of suck. You might see it in further videos. We'll see. Um, I appreciate it, Saker. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, throw a comment down there. Links to all this stuff will be in my description below. Check it out. Maybe pick one up for yourself. Thanks, guys.